How's that intro joke coming along, grandson? <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Much better. So let's talk about the hottest new technique. Poison rolling. It's simple. Just pick any right hand weapon. And poison jam it up. In either poison flavor. The purple one tastes kinda funny. Then just get rolling. This will build the poison bar. As if they have been hit. This is because the bath hasn't been invented yet. So the hunter smells eye wateringly bad. Does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? Disgusting! Try to avoid touching with the left side. The hitbox is a little wonky. And only the early to mid roll counts as a hit. The ends won't build up that poison. And the hunter's bone gives Sanic speed rolls. Hey! Well, wait! Stop! No! This is a delicate machine! Overall, it's a very effective technique. Its only weakness being that poison itself is kinda trash. With the sole exception of challenge runs. Phew. So let's move on to Bloodborne's poison problem. Wait. Don't drink that. We need more details before I slam them good. So first up, let's study slow, which lives up to its name. It deals a bit over 480 damage over 40 seconds. And rapid, which behaves like Dark Souls bleed. It deals 100 plus 10% of max HP. And the average dude Hawaii, Hawaii. has 120 slow resist and 180 rapid. And all poisons decay at about 5 per second. Stay after class to learn more. So what do those early game gems do? Oh. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. So, you're gonna need all three gem slots. That's a plastic weapon at least. To even have a chance at poisoning effectively. And by then slow poison is pointless. Just hit them instead. So when it comes to slow, give poison knives a go. Despite Bloodborne knowing poison is useless, it has at least one good purpose. Rapid poison, however, can work. The Chikage has great inbuilt bleed. And with some gem farming, I can get to 67. That's enough to bleed some dudes in just two hits. Wow. There is some bad news, however. When not transformed, it ignores the base 30. Now taking 3 hits instead of 2. There is also a 2 second immunity window, just after you bleed. So that 3 hits here, becomes 6. 
when you spam. And sadly for Poison Rollin, it ignores weapon transformations. So what should take three rolls? Take six. It's a real shame. Since you can I frame through the self damage. If you time it well enough. But for squishy enemies, this poison is pretty pointless. It's good against tanky jealous dungeon fatties. But why bother when you have the gun? Oh. Such style. But on some bosses, however, with a lot of HP, it's damn good. It can be tricky to play while not logged on. So just pretend you're playing Dark Souls 3 PvP. And sometimes it's as easy as taking candy from a baby. Yeah. Some bosses take double damage. The only problem being is that some bosses have 999 resistance in both flavors. Since the doll also has the same values. Let's put this into context, eh? So don't bother with any of these bosses. What's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it sings to me. You, boy, are insufferable. The giant enemy spider. <laughs> Don't taste me, bro. How disappointing. Even common baddies share that amount. Oof. And one boss is even immune. As for players, you can cure both with a single antidote. So in conclusion, what did poison ever do to you, Miyazaki? I told you before. Stay out of my swamp. Thanks for watching. If you want to study more, check out this Poison Decay lecture. But be warned, you might gain too much insight too. <laughs>